Hi, hi, welcome to 2024. At this point, you guys probably know I like to experiment with stuff. So in today's video, we're gonna be working with microscope slides. Sounds not so cute, but wait till you see it, okay? Here they are, okay? They are super inexpensive. They're only like seven bucks for a hundred of them, I believe. I'll link them down below. The opportunities are now endless because we have beautiful plates like that to sandwich whatever we want in between and then solder. Okay, like mind blowing, okay? So I'm sure people have done it and they have obviously because we have evidence on Pinterest. Like I've never done it, so maybe it is cool. I don't know. Anyway, we're gonna be working on something using microscope slides. However, I don't want to be printing out some angels, although we can. And you can print out photos of your loved ones, of your dog, of maybe like a landscape. Maybe you can paint something. There's so many opportunities and we're going to be exploring a few. And this is my first time doing that. But I'm going to be working on this. Lana Del Rey. Okay. Lana Del Rey. And what I did, I, because I'm a fan, I went ahead and I found... Uh, photos of all uh, my favorite videos of her. Ultraviolence, this is Rye, this is a Blue Jeans, um, Burning Desire. Burning Desire. This is Burning Desire. It's a gorgeous video. And this is again from Ride. And I feel like it's gonna be interesting to explore. Yeah, let's see if this technique works, uh, but hypothetically it will. I'm gonna be using black copper tape because I feel like it's important in this case because we're working with clear parts. This is the plan of attack and imagine if this works, then possibilities are endless because I can put there whatever I want. So would you. I'm I'm intimidated, so you're not alone, okay? Earrings, maybe I'll wear both earrings for the sake of this video. Okay. Lana Del Rey. I'll be playing some Lana Del Rey, but not for you because I'll get copyrighted. One of the lights is being weird, so apologize for lighting. We will also probably, I just can't resist uh, not trying working with lace and sandwiching lace between those two plates. I feel like it's going to be looking interesting. Flux would be an issue if we're going to accidentally drip some of the flux onto printed paper uh, because it's probably going to splatter it and leave some marks and yeah, we don't want to do that. So keep flux out of the space while you're taping them with copper tape and um, let's use copper tape. So Lana Del Rey. So what I'm doing, I have a plate. You can see that it's not clean. Okay. So I'm going to be paranoid about that. I'm going to discard that. I'm going to pull a brand new out of this stock of cards. Okay. Out of deck of cards here. I'm going to not, maybe I should be wearing gloves, but this is my first time and you know, forgive me. So I'm trying to, I'm going to uh, try to minimize contact. Obviously I'll be touching a lot here, but we'll be able to wipe it. The main thing is not getting any stuff in between because once it's sealed, it's going to be sealed, right? So this is Lana Del Rey. I'm going to move this out of the way and um, now I'm going to pull out my black copper tape. This is the one that I'm using. It's a brand new pack that I got. I'm going to cut myself like a lot and it's tricky. You maybe need to have a little clip because it just gets undone immediately and it's annoying, but okay. So now let's just focus on one thing at a time. So let's get rid of the distractions. Lana, you're here. I love her so much. I discovered her maybe like 10 years ago. I am obsessed with Lana Lorraine. Um, and um, yeah, I really want to see her live. Okay, so you see what I did? I flipped it. So let's make sure without touching too much, put it in the right position. We are good to go. Maybe I'm thinking I should be holding it in place, but I will be cheating because um, I am sitting so comfortably right now with so much equipment around me. So I don't want to get up and get uh, some, uh, maybe like, uh, what am I trying to, a clip. I don't have a clip, but I'm going to cheat and I'm going to wrap it from one side just to hold it in place. This is a temporary um, solution that I feel like is needed now. So this is kind of me uh, but, uh, coming up with that on the go. But you guys can maybe use a clip, a soft clip, so you don't scratch your maybe like a wooden clip. Um, 
But let's see if we can, maybe this could be a good technique. Okay, so now she's more stable, okay? She's more in place. I'm not going to be going over this part just yet because it's the copper tape in the way. But um, we're going to work on that and then we're going to get rid of this temporary placeholder, okay? So let's begin. So now I have way less copper tape. That's, I need to think about that. Will it be enough? It might not be enough. So let's not put ourselves in a position where we have to patch something so I'm gonna grab a brand new piece of copper tape I'm not gonna be cutting it just yet because we never know what's gonna happen so um carefully let's lift this and let's try I know there are seams but seams don't really affect me usually I don't usually see any seams but I heard that some people do so now whenever you're applying copper tape as I mentioned don't touch it multiple times otherwise it's gonna become less adhesive so make sure you don't touch this with touch the sticky part with your fingers now this is the part where we're gonna think how wide our border um, needs to be. Like, does it need to be even? Maybe, maybe one side should be wider. I'm gonna be going for an even uh, spread because we are working with identical pieces of copper. You can even, I guess, you can uh, do. You can you can cheat a little bit again. And you can place copper tape right here onto your working surface, and then place the piece to find the center. Is it too, is it centered? Not really, but that it was a good idea. But maybe like you can help yourself by, there you go, m moving stuff around a little bit. And now this is kind of a center. So I'm gonna, corners could be difficult, okay, but we're gonna worry about them later. When you are wrapping your piece with copper tape, try to pull a little bit. Don't, don't let it be like loose like that. Lucy, Lucy, don't, don't, don't let it be like that. Try to pull it, but not too much. Don't yank it because you're gonna tear it. But pull it to the point where you want it to be connected to the bottom. And now we're gonna just glide over it. It's kind of in the middle, but again, I'm filming. Like when you're home by yourself, it's a little bit. I'm. It's not an excuse, but forgive me if it's not 100% even. It should be fine. Anyway, so so far paper is not in the way, so that's good. I'm worried about this this these corners, so I'm gonna leave it as is right now because we're gonna make sure they're folded beautifully because they do matter. Okay, all right. So now we're done with that. Okay, now we're going to just you can cut it, but I just like to be a gangster and just tear it like that. Ooh, what I forgot about. Ay ay ay. See, good that I see. No one told me that I'm forgetting about this part. And now it's leaving black residue. Oof, so, oh no, it's not. Okay, it's just her hand. <laughs> oh, stressful. Okay, so we forgot, but that's okay. That's good that I wasn't pressing. See, subconsciously, I knew that I shouldn't be <laughs> pressing this part just yet because <laughs> I forgot about this. See, I got carried away, that's okay. We caught it and we fixed it, right? So that's all that matters. Okay, so now it's okay to reapply this part. Just be careful. Again, pull it. It's glass, so it's super sharp. Don't let it cut through your copper tape. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it's a little finicky, but we're gonna... It's the first time. Oh, okay, that's fine. So this is, you know, I did what I um, asked you guys not to do. But that's okay, we're going to overlap it. Ideally, it should be one one uh, piece, but I have patched stuff multiple times and my pieces were sturdy. So let's, it's an experiment. You know how the first crepe is always not the prettiest one. This is gonna be our first crepe, okay? Or pancake. Okay, so this is kind of the front for me and this is kind of the back, but I will be cleaning this part, but let's continue, let's start pressing. So. If we're going to press, let's see, so the corners. I'm just going to treat corners as if, I wish I could demonstrate it on a piece of paper, but basically, what am I doing here? I'm kind of like neatly, making sure they're neatly folded like so. You know, I guess this is a good demonstration, you know? This is what I'm trying to do with them. Like, I'm not going to just bunch them and let them be whatever, like wrinkled up like that. You know, maybe it could be a look and you might be able to... Uh, remedy with it with um, a lot of solder, but it's gonna have a bump. So like, let's just fold it like paper. Okay, so this is what I did right here. 
Okay, again, I'm gonna go in and maybe there are tools for that that make our life easier, but I don't have them. Okay, this is the border where we might need to use a little exacto knife to cut this because again, fold it like a like paper. This one was not the perfect one, but whatever. Okay, so is it a do a good job? Not really, but again, it's the first time working with that. Let's not be harsh on ourselves. Let's let's experiment and once we do a couple of those, we're gonna be really good at that. But first time is okay. Might not be perfect. Okay, so let's do the same thing kind of here. They kind of miraculously well right here this is exactly what I didn't want it to be. They kind of like got bunched up. But let's see if we can I should have not be I should not be using my finger because my nail because I might cut myself and I need to get the burnishing tool. I keep saying varnishing. I'm so sorry. Burnishing tool. Um, and I, I'm going to get one for myself. Um, but we're doing what we always do and making sure this is focusing. Yeah, we are burnishing edges and they have to be super s silky smooth. Okay. I don't like this much but again like do you want it to be like a production looking like piece do you want it to be perfect or maybe we'll allow a little bit of handmadeness to that this is what's beautiful about sorting like look at my rings they're not they're not perfect you know but i kind of like that about them you know okay so this is exacto knife that i have here all right so we're going to cut not the most straight cut I've ever done, but so okay, so then you'll be able to just get rid of that, okay? It's fine, okay. So, again, let's use a placeholder uh, copper tape to keep our piece in place. Interesting, okay, so maybe, yeah, like the leaf. Um, the point of the leaf in here it looks surreal. So a placeholder, I shall not forget that I'm sandwiching it and then I'll, I'll try to remember to remove. It's raining in LA, it's so great. Never does. Okay, this is enough. So now I'm going to trim the excess. I don't know if you can see, but there's like, obviously it's it needs to be trimmed. So let me go get scissors and we will continue. And uh, this one as well. So, all right. Interesting. Okay, same thing. Okay, so we are not taping, not starting from this side, we are starting from the left side because this has some copper tape in, in place uh, so we can uh, make sure we don't forget about it when we're taping. Anyway. So easy. And luckily we can see I am pulling not too hard. Okay, I'm gliding my finger. Ooh. <laughs> I like it. Okay. Um then I'm not gonna forget this time about this right here. Maybe keep that one there yet, just yet, and then continue. Ooh, there's some stuff. Just make sure no lint gets in the way of your piece because once it's sealed, it's sealed. So we're going to mm -hmm. that's right it's done so we, if this is too weak I can always cut it but maybe we'll see if it works now it's a little too weak because I touched it too many times okay continue let's continue pulling it this way and we have come to this part where the jump ring would be and I'm going to cut it make sure this is beautiful okay all right so again black copper tape okay well 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 I just want to let you know that I might have gotten carried away and I did a live stream yesterday and I accidentally did this <laughs> I made this 
So we're gonna pick it up where we left because I was tired and cold at the end of live stream and I just called it a day. Today is December 31st, so happy new year, guys. Happy almost new year. Happy new year at this point when I'm posting this video. But this is what I did. Um, it wasn't live stream, so some people saw it happening live. And I learned a couple things about um, actually uh, the copper tape. Uh, we'll be talking about in, in a minute. The good thing is that this uh, technique works. Uh, it, it flux didn't affect the the artwork on the inside. It didn't it didn't leak in, so that was good. That was something I was concerned about. And I made this wild pendant of Lana Del Rey, and I actually dismantled an earring that I did because I was so impatient. But I'll make more of those earrings. It's fine. But yeah, so. Right now, let's just continue where we left. I discovered this yesterday. So I was like, what if, you know how we always want to try create interesting borders and stuff like that? And I was like, what if we use a wider copper tape, copper tape, not this one, but wider one. And what if we are going to um, cut out shapes, like organic wavy shapes out of a copper tape and then we can place them whenever and you see how it's it could it could do something this is ugly but you know and i i wish we had a wider and i'm going to research if, if if a wider copper sheets thin copper sheets are available flux okay so real quick this is how i'm cleaning my uh, soldering iron tip I'm always like rotating, so I'm doing like rotating motions. And that seems to do a better job for me. I don't know, I've been doing that, it's been working, so. Okay, let's continue. Soldering is so fast, like I love this because it takes 10 minutes to do a piece of jewelry sometimes. Okay, so this is done. See? It's cute. And again, it could be as smooth, as rough as you would want it to be. I'm just focusing kind of on, not really focusing on the, on the finish much. I mean, I might, I should, but to smooth it out, you can just glide over, adding flux. Once you know, know the technique and you know your iron and you know the temperature and that works for you, these really take, I don't know, seven, five minutes to make? Not a long time. See, like, but just watch out for where seams overlap. Maybe I should have done better burnishing job in here. Chanel. Right? We can do that to like satisfy our... At least this would look... It's traditional, like I don't... Not, not a huge fan of stuff like that. But it's good. This is a... This is a button, okay? That I have. What if we set it like that? So it's not... It's going to be better if it's if it's butted against the thing. But the problem is, is copper tape that's going to be seen. I don't want the copper tape to be seen. But that's something that... Or maybe we can attach a jump ring to this. It could be an earring, I see. Let's see what else do I have. What if we are working on this? We will add um, uh, jump rings to both sides of... Like, let's orient it horizontally, right? And then we would attach jump rings this way. So, for the for a thread to go... And this is, even like that, it's like minimalistic, whatever interesting then we can add kind of ugly but you know something it could be a chain you know it could be a chain we can add different peace signs but we need to balance it because otherwise you know i have more peace signs in here you know that's kind of like rock and roll right that's something i like okay this is i might do i might just do that okay um if we can replace it with lana also interesting, right? I should, you know, horizontal. I didn't think about them as horizontal things, but look. Woo! From the first go. Look at that. 
I know that some people leave them as is, but I'd like to add more material around them because I don't feel like this is a strong bond. I mean, then the elegance. You need to be careful about that because you kind of sacrifice elegance for practicality because then they're just going to look like it's super bulky, but hopefully I can, I'll can be able to manage to achieve both. Whenever you are adding jump rings to the bottom, think about orientation like I thought about chain going through. Okay, so testing, 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 testing if um, our jump rings are big enough for our chain. And they are. I'm just taking off my mask. Okay, see how it looks. See? Cute! Maybe this is the front. This is better. Okay. Good. So check that before you. Um, now let's talk about let's talk about orientation. So again, unfortunately, unless hmm, you can cheat a little bit and you can if it's easier to solder jump rings this way, you can just you will have to just add another jump ring so the orientation of these guys won't be this way but will be that way. So sometimes, you know, you can say you know what. We can just do that to ease our process. Okay, even, right? Let's do even. Let's be all like, let's just do even. It's fine. Even spacing, okay? So I always try to place them close, uh, sort of that, that uh, opening shot, right? So I place them that way. I don't know if you can see. Let's see if I can zoom in. Mm, so you see, all of them are facing the part where it's going to be... Uh, you know, sorted. I should have maybe fluxed everything, but I'm just going to be carefully adding some flux by keeping them in place. I should have pre-fluxed, uh, except for this one. This one wants to go away. Okay. I'm just going to hold the jump ring in place. Much better. Okay, should have done it on all of them. That's it. This is too much material, but... It's fine. Pop a little bit of solder in here. There we go. So now, again, like I did a little boo boo right here, but if I was making it for sale or whatever, I might have just melted this whole thing off and resoldered it, but it's okay. With an extra jump ring, so the orientation of those would be proper, okay? This is like the easiest part, you know? <laughs> it's so great whenever you make something and it comes out better than you first thought of it it's like such magic we're magicians guys we're artists we're magicians we make things that don't exist before we like they don't exist and then they do like i would have washed this and then i would have attached more peace signs because i don't know if these would be prompt to tarnishing you know what i mean like this won't but whenever you're touching charms my tip would be wash your piece first dry it and then attach charms because you probably won't be swimming in this you know our mind is so wild that it can come up with interesting ideas look at that look how cute let me move wires out of the way how cute Mm-hmm. It's such a perfect gift. Like, I'll give it to someone. I don't think I'll be wearing stuff like that, but, um, I'll give it to a friend. Like, it's such a good, like, it's such a good Christmas gift, you know? Well, Christmas is gone, but, you know, birthday gift. And it's unique. And, you know, they can, you can be like, hey, um, give me a piece of the, of your favorite fabric or let me, you know, do you have lace from a dress that you used to wear when you were a kid or whatever, you know? You can do anything sentimental and... Oh, how, how cute. And it's okay, so it's also um, beautiful from both ends, from both sides, so that's good. And then we would just go ahead and close this, and I will show it to you once we are chatting towards the end of the video. But there she is, your handmade, beautiful, hippie, rock and roll piece of jewelry. We're just going to focus on this and make. Moon God, Moon Goddess Lana, like a tarot card.
Well, I accidentally added some beads, as you saw. I don't know, I just felt like it's fitting for this goddess, goddess-like look. Okay, so now, let's add this. This is a perfect, perfect position right now. Don't you move. Don't you move. Okay, like this. So I'm gonna add some flux. I'm gonna literally drop some flux. I don't wanna be messing the... I don't wanna be messing this position, so I'm gonna literally like... <laughs> That's a lot of flux. That was a lot of flux. Uh oh. A lot of sore there, glossy. Mmm. Good to know, sir. That's a weird piece, but now we're gonna fix the back. It's not the most centered piece, but. Ah. <laughs> okay, okay, let's do that. So. Okay, I'll be honest with you. I'll be honest with you. It was a struggle. And it's not 100% centered, as you can see. Okay? But we're gonna try to cover it up by adding a chunkier uh, charm to the right of it. And a smaller charm to the left. To visually distract from it not being, not being centered. If I were... I could have been... I could redo it, but melting off the so, so much solder... I don't want to do it right now. I don't feel like it's fine. We're experimenting. It's not the most perfectly centered way, but um, since it's like a raw piece, I said I want to do it the other way, but this is better composition wise. So let's add some jump rings to this. And I'm not a perfectionist today, and that's okay. You know why? Because it's New Year's. So I'm allowing myself to not be perfect. Okay, jump rings are, today are not how bad, <laughs> isn't that how they could be? Okay. Okay. Trying to be to the left. Um, uh, this way. Moon is going this way. And we're good. It looks like a tarot card. Right? Okay. Oh my goodness. Goddess Lana Del Rey. The front. I made some weird stuff today, guys. I washed it and you see a little bit of water got in here it didn't happen on this piece when I washed it but it did on this one I don't mind because it's like it's all vintage whatever but just be careful maybe don't soak it in water the way I did jump ring so many things to experiment with and learn and like you know it's a lot Okay. Success. Okay, let's just add more. Okay, okay. And the main thing, the main thing is I always say, ouch, coat your iron, okay? I'm gonna turn off my iron and I'm going to coat it with some solder, okay? Look at that. Ooh, oh, no, no, no. <laughs> Did you see what happened? <laughs> I have to put it in slow motion. 
Okay, you stop it. Stop it. Ah! <laughs> just look at him. He just doesn't want to... My iron, the soldering iron is off. Ah! It's like living life of its own. Oh my gosh. It's like alive, guys. Let's call him Jimmy, okay? Jimmy, you're wild. All right, I need to take a break because... You know, we, we, know, we all see now. We did it, guys. I am pretty happy with the results. So this is the close-up of Lana Del Rey. But we have succeeded using some microscope slides. It's an interesting. It's now we have another thing in our arsenal. You know what I mean? Like I've been wanting to do something, and here it is. And this is another piece that I did off camera. So this is another one with Lana Del Rey, and and this one I'm pretty happy about as well. Look at this. Such a cool piece. Like if it is against um, a T-shirt. It's pretty cool, huh? Cute. I've never done composition like that. I have never done a pendant like that. So whenever I'm filming, I'm so in the process. This is a copper wire. Uh, whenever I'm filming, I'm so in the process, so I don't really see what I make. <laughs> so I'm like, oh, interesting. <laughs> we made this. I'm happy we did this. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope that you are having a wonderful um, new 2024 because I'm posting it in 2024. Uh, I appreciate all of you. Thank you so much for all your support. Let me know in the comments uh, what else would you like me to show you. I know I owe you some gold leaf experiments, turning silver into gold. I'm experimenting with that, so fingers crossed it will work. But other than that, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in my next one. Bye! Bye, hugs!